Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Naresh Technologies. In today's session, I am explaining about uh, a data dictionary in Oracle. What is data dictionary? And Oracle not only stores data, but it also stores definitions. So, that is data about data. So, it stores information about users, information about tables, information about columns, information about constraints. So, whatever the objects created in Oracle database and all these objects information is stored in Oracle database. So, in this is stored in the form of tables, this information is stored in the form of tables. So, that users info, tables info, constraints info, sequence info, this information is stored in the form of tables and those tables are called data dictionary tables. Then, so in today's video, so I am just giving the what are the data dictionary tables are available and how to uh, view the data. So, there is one table, what that is dba underscore users, what is this stores, this stores information about users information. So, whatever the users are there in Oracle database and all that users information is stored in this table dba underscore users. So, this stores information about users, next one is there dba underscore tables, what is this stores, this stores information about tables created by users. So, if user creates table immediately that information is loaded into this dba underscore tables, dba underscore tab underscore columns and this stores information about columns. So, you create a table and the table is created with columns and that columns information is stored into this table. Next, there is a call dba underscore constraints and this stores information about constraints declared in a table. So, while creating the table suppose you declared primary key foreign key check constraint and that information is stored into this db underscore constraints. Next, so there is a call dba underscore views, this stores information about views created by users. So, this stores information about views. Next, dba underscore sequences, this stores information about sequences created by user and there is a call dba underscore, dba underscore synonyms, this stores information about synonyms created by user and dba underscore materialized views, dba underscore mus and this stores information about materialized views created by users. So, like this there are number of data dictionary tables okay. and what are these tables are, these tables are system tables and these tables stores metadata. Like if you take EMP table, customer table and what customer table stores, customer table stores data but this table stores metadata. Uh, let us see suppose for example, I want to see this dba underscore users, okay. Let us go to dba account like for example, system manager sys. So, whenever you install Oracle or when you create a database, a database is created with uh, two users, two user accounts, one is sys and another one system. So, both having DBA permissions, DBA privileges. So, let us go to system, I am going to system and this is the Scott. Ah, so, this is system like how to go to system after opening this connect type system manager. So, in my system the password of system is manager, so connected. So, like I want to see the users information then go to this table 
what is the table that stores information about users dba underscore users and describe dba underscore users. So, before writing the query first see the table structure dba underscore users and what is this is this is structure of dba underscore users in this what are these columns one column name is username one column is user id one column is password password what is the password of user what is the account status whether account is uh, locked or unlocked and what is the lock date what is the profile when this user is created. So, this stores information about users I want to see the list of user names to see the list of user names simply write this query what that is select user name from all underscore uh, dba underscore users select user name from dba underscore users and what is this query returns this query returns list of users in this database. So, this is showing the list of users in database. So, one user is system one user is sys user 1 user 2 scott hr. So, it is showing the list of users. So, I want to see uh, this users list and also when this user is created then run this query select what user name then created from dba underscore users. So, it is showing the list of users system 27th August user 1 created 7 July user 2 created 7 July and Scott created 3rd July ok. So, it is showing the user names and also the date created when this user is created now. So, this from this you will get the information about users suppose I want to get the information about tables for example, there is a user called Scott. So, I want to see the list of tables created by Scott. So, if you want to get the information about Scott then go to this table. So, what is the table is dba underscore tables. So, go to this table from this table you can get the information about tables then. So, here describe dba underscore tables then. So, what it is showing is it is showing the columns belongs to dba underscore tables whenever you execute a describe command it will show the list of columns. So, it is showing the column names one column name is owner one column name is table name one column name is table space name like this. So, suppose I want to see the list of tables created by owner Scott then you have to write a query like this select table name select table name from user underscore or dba underscore tables where owner name equals to Scott. So, it will show the list of tables created by Scott table name from db underscore tables where owner equal to Scott. So, emp, dpt, bonus, algorithm dummy. So, just pass the username then you will get the list of tables created by Scott. So, ok this is this uh, user is dba. So, see this where we are executing this queries we are executing this query in system manager this is dba. So, what about the user like for example, Scott Scott is a normal user. So, whether he can access this metadata ok. So, this is dba now dba is able to access the metadata because he has got some tables dba underscore dba underscore like uh, what about the user normal user like Scott is Scott can access this metadata yes Scott also can access the metadata. So, for Scott so let us let us if you go to Scott that means, if you go to normal user normal user also can access metadata. So, but you can access the metadata. So, through some views user normal user also can access the metadata through some views and what are the views same thing like for example, user underscore tables user underscore tab underscore columns user underscore consigns like this. So, you can also access metadata through some views what are the views user underscore tables user underscore tab underscore columns user underscore constraints. So, but from this user underscore tables you can access only the tables created by Scott, but you cannot see the tables created by some other user through this view. 
through this view you can access you can see only the tables created by Scott ok. So, these are the tables, but what is the difference is this table contains information about tables created by all users, but three through user underscore tables you can see only the tables created by Scott. So, let us go to Scott, let us go to Scott, this is Scott. So, let us see this describe user underscore tables. If you see this in this directly there is a table name, but there is no called owner. So, there is no column called owner ok. So, that means you can see only the tables created by Scott, but you cannot see the tables created by other users through this view user underscore tables that. Now, how to see that select what table name from user underscore tables. So, same thing. So, it is showing what EMP, DPT, bonus, algorithm, and dummy ok. That. So, this is data dictionary. So, what we can get from the data dictionary is metadata ok. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.